Students, you are welcome to the last part of today's lesson. The topic is the past tense. The past tense. Now, let us continue with the third type, which is called the past continuous tense. The past continuous tense is used to describe actions that began in the past and often continued for a short period of time after the action started. These things describes actions or events that happened at a specific time in the past. It is formed from the past tense of the verb be with ing suffix. That is, the past continuous tense is formed with was or where with ing verb. Was or where with ing verb. Now the uses. One, it is used for an action going on at some time in the past. For an action going on at some time in the past. E.g. The children were eating dinner when their parents got home. I was watching TV yesterday evening. My uncle came when I was reading the novel. The children were sleeping in the morning. The children were sleeping in the morning. Two, to denote a change of mind. To denote a change of mind. E.g. I was going to play cricket, but I have decided to finish my homework instead. I was going to play cricket, but I have decided to finish my homework instead. 3. To denote an action happening repeatedly. To denote an action happening repeatedly. E.g. They were always fighting. He was always bullying his siblings. He was always bullying his siblings. Now let's go for the last type, which is called the past perfect continuous tense. The past perfect continuous tense. The past perfect continuous tense denotes an action that started in the past and continued up to another point in the past. It is formed using had been with ing form of the verb. Had been with ing form of the verb. Student, please take note of the been. It is spelled B E E N. B E E N. Had been with ing form of the verb. Now, uses. Why? It is used for something that started in the past and continued up until another time in the past. For something that started in the past and continued up until another time in the past. E.g., he had been exercising for an hour before his mother arrived. Mudupe had been walking three miles a day before she broke her leg. He had been writing an interesting essay for two hours before his teacher stopped him. He had been writing an interesting essay for two hours before his teacher stopped him. Lastly, it is used to show cause and effect. To show cause and effect. E.g., he was tired because he had been exercising. He was tired because he had been exercising. Now, references. 1. English grammar by Sheila Sholari. English grammar by Sheila Sholari. 2. Contemporary English Grammar by J.G. Modi. Contemporary English Grammar by J.G. Modi. Or you can go on www.mbredonvo.com www.mbredonvo.com Now, your classwork. Fill the blanks with correct form of verbs in the following sentences. Fill in the blanks with correct form of verbs in these following sentences. One, my friend said he dash a reporter. Is it is or was? Two, he had dash the letter. Is it written or wrote? Three, we have dash waiting for you. Is it been or been? And four, 
they dash to school every We have dash waiting for you. Is it been or been? At four, they dash to school every day. Is it works or works? Students, this is the end of today's lesson. Thank you. God bless you. Students, you are welcome to.